Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at angle sum of a triangle. So let's get started. So what, I'm, what we're going to work with is um, we're going to work with a triangle and um, we want to see what the angles inside a triangle actually add up to first. And then once we do that we'll actually look at a couple of examples. So let's say we've got three angles. Uh, just to make things a little bit easier, I've got them colored in three different colors. We've got blue, red, and green. And we're going to actually put them on a straight line. So here's my straight line. Now I'm going to turn uh, the triangle first, like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the process so that all three angles meet at one point. As you can see, now the green and the red dot are joined together. Well, it's the same triangle, I've just, I'm just turning it around upside, well, not upside down, but like where all those angles meet at a point. And there's my third triangle. Now what you can see is that the green, the red, and the, the blue, they all are actually angles on a straight line. Now, if you had actually watched the previous video in this series, you would know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So that's the green colored angle there the red colored angle and the blue GRB. So what we can say is that G plus R plus B equals 180 degrees. So in other words we can say that angles inside a triangle actually add up to 180 degrees. So when you're using geometric reasoning to find angles in a triangle you can actually write you don't need to write angles in a line but you have a different kind of reasoning for that. So you can actually say angle sum of a triangle. That's basically enough. That just says that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Alright guys, so let's have a look at a, uh, a couple of examples and go from there. So here's the first example. We've got a triangle with 100, 35 and X. And we're trying to figure out what angle X is. So what we do know is that three angles add up to 180 degrees. So x plus 100 plus 35 equals 180 degrees. So simplifying this, we got x plus 135 is 180. And of course rearranging it, x is equal to 180 minus 135, which means x is equal to 45 degrees. And of course we need to write the reasons, which is angle sum of a triangle. That's basically it, guys. Okay, let's look at uh, another example. Okay, here's example two. We've got a little square thing again popping up. We've got x and 40 degrees. And again, we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we've got x plus 40 degrees plus the right angle, which is that right there, which equals 90 degrees, and that's equal to 180 degrees. And again, simplifying this, we're going to get x plus 130 equals 180 degrees. Rearranging it, we're going to get 180 minus 130, which means x is equal to 50 degrees. Once again, guys, don't forget your reasoning, which is angle sum of a triangle. So this is predominantly dealing with um, angles in a triangle where we've got numbers. What happens if you have variables? So in my next example, I'm just going to show you guys what happens when it's just variables. So here's the third and last example, folks. We've got to try and figure out x in this. So as usual, we know the three angles inside a triangle. It actually adds up to 180 degrees. So we've got x plus 2x plus the little square, which happens to be 90 degrees, a right angle which equals 180 degrees. Simplifying this, we have 3x, because 2x plus x is 3x, plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees. Rearranging this, we have 3x equals 180 degrees, take away 90, so 3x is equal to 90, and now 90 divided by 3, because it's want to get have x by itself, so we're going to get x is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, that's basically how you do angles inside a triangle. Oh, sorry, forgot the reasoning. Angle sum of a triangle. 
that's enough right there, guys. All right, that's it for this little short session. Thank you for watching.